The moment before I ring the doorbell and after I ring the doorbell, really, uh, sometimes you're anxious, not knowing really how things will, will open, you know. When somebody comes to open the door, you don't know what to expect inside. And I know that all I have to do is to be there for them. The presence of somebody who is dying in the house uh, can be overwhelming for many patients and, and their families and sometimes there's a lot of anxiety. So I come uh, just to bring a calming presence, not knowing really what I would expect, but just to be there for them. Uh, uh, and then they will teach me in most cases how to care for them. But that sense of loneliness and isolation from life, uh, it causes a lot of existential despair. And those are the three most things that they express to me. And my goal as a chaplain then is to help them to make sense in this new reality. How do you find meaning when you feel useless? How do you find meaning when you feel isolated? How do you find meaning when you feel disconnected from community, from God? How do you sustain your sense of humanity? And those are some of the things that uh, I help the patients address in this journey. So I become in most cases their, their companion, their friend, their, the journeyman that journeys with them in these journeys. And I make sure that I visit with them and share, listen to their life stories and help them have at least a sense of dignity in life. For me, being there for somebody at the worst moment of their lives and them inviting me to journey with them, I look at it as a sacred opportunity. It's a very spiritual uh, experience to be there for them. And in that, I gained my energy uh, knowing that uh, they were happy.